I think I got the water thing. Now, the light thing. Doing some reading, I came across that uh, LEDs are really hard to germinate under. So my thinking, now you can tell me whether or not my thinking is correct, is if, if I have a main, like that big light I got, if I have that as my main light and I don't use that and I use my side lights and I'm not getting a strong light into for germination, and then once, uh, and that should help with your germination if I'm using soil, which I, I prefer to use the soil, I'll soak them and then I put them in soil and then, then I, I put them in my, my grow area. By doing that uh, through with the LEDs versus the T5, you're not getting a direct light, but it does keep it warm enough in there to maintain the temperature. Changing the time, what, like you recommended, to run during unpeak, you know, off the peak time uh, or peak daytime helps regulate temperature and it did make a big difference. I made that change already. Is there something that I'm missing or is there, should I leave the room dark until germination or until the, the little plants pop their little heads up and then pour the light on or what's your recommendation there? Can we go back to the same thing we talked about a little bit yesterday? Okay. I can almost guarantee, I, I, I can't use the word guarantee, but I could say I could probably wrap up nine out of every 10 people or 95 out of every 100 people that are commenting and agreeing with that statement around LEDs and germination. It goes back because of heat. You know, the reason why those seeds pop is because of warmth and environmental conditions. You know, right, which is moisture and mm-hmm. your humidity. Exactly. Right. All those people that are having hard times germinating, what ends up happening, sometimes you just don't have a good seed supplier. Right. Uh, that's mm-hmm. that's the b- first biggest factor. Is right. Se- seeds actually mature. And then second, it goes into, is the gardener giving the right environmental conditions? Heat, water, moisture. Humidity. Humidity. Right. And also temperature. temperature, depth of the seed being planted. You know, the very most basic things we all know is gardeners are important, right? Right. They're very basic. So mm-hmm. with all the back and forth of this light versus that light is, is not as important as it is the environmental uh, conditions and having that light available for when that seedling starts poking its head through that that light develops to it. Absolutely. Okay. Where the light begins to play a role in this entire process is just like a baby right when it's born into its environment mm-hmm. and also prior to it. It's interesting, actually. Let me take a step back. The seed okay. actually goes through a familiarity of its environmental conditions and preparation the season prior. Right. What's up? What's down? Things like that. Exactly. Heat, temperature, cold, all like all that snow. From that process, the seeds being prepared to germinate for the following season. You can't do anything about that, so move forward. This season, though, where the light plays the effect is right after it being born or germinating, if there is not a quality amount of light, it will begin to elongate. And from there, it will begin to change its genetic code to prepare for its environmental conditions to survive that season as well, which means long stems, searching for water, searching for light, right. and things you you put or will probably be thrown off. And a lot of people don't discuss that plant DNA and human DNA is capable of changing and evolving because of its environment. Ad- ad- adapting to its environment, right. Exactly. And quickly, too. So remember, these plants are only a few months, so these seeds right. have the ability to adapt to their environment within days of being germinated. So making sure right. you are running the light on a systematic approach, 18 on, 6 off, keeping a consistent environment will make that seed actually start to begin to grow healthy right after. Yeah, I, so my, my environment, the last 24 hours range from 72 to the maximum heat was 80, and that was only for a brief period. Not really sure why it went up. I think probably because of the time of day. By changing my time, like you recommended, I think I, I'll correct that. You know, that it should end up with better results for that consistent environment. Exactly. So, and germination typically happens in what for oh, well four days or so, or four to six days, four to seven days before little things start poking out of the dirt. One hundred percent, absolutely, and obviously that goes back to the quality seed where you're getting it from. This right. Mm-hmm. The better the quality, the safety, the better opportunities that that seed or better genetics that seed has it's versus having a sickly baby or 
or, or a healthy baby. Exactly. So just so you also have an idea on this, on the importance of actual genetics, because a lot of people put, I think, too much importance into this, the genetics really plays a role. It does play a role because obviously, you know, if it doesn't have good genetics, you're not going to get the basics. Uh, we're just talking like just a good seed breeder is going to get you that minimum, above 15% oil production and concentration and decent profile, right. those types of things. But besides those basics, the seed genetics really is probably only 5% of the entire process of this whole growing. Okay. So you get it popped properly and it starts growing. And as long as it's a female plant or if that's what you're searching for. Yep. From that point forward, the other 95% is on your shoulders. You're watering the environment. The environment. You got it. Okay. Well, then, I, if you're supplying the best environment possible, you've, you've given that seedling the best chance to to prosper, to, to meet it be time. all that it can be. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So, all righty. So, sometimes I tend to overthink things. So. No, that's why I give you my cell phone to give me a call. So thank you for your help and your your expertise. I, I value it, and I think you've answered everything I needed to answer. I can't think of anything else right at the moment. 